Puerto Rican manatees cruise these waters, spending most of their time feeding on the seagrass. But while they graze, they are vulnerable to being struck by speeding jet skis and boats. There are fewer than 700 manatees alive today in Puerto Rico. And with so few left, the survival of each individual is important. Just outside the capital city of San Juan is the Manatee Conservation Center. Tony Minucci rehabilitates injured and orphaned manatees here. He has three pools where manatees in need can be cared for. The smallest pool holds baby Tureigua, who became separated from his mother at birth. He is still being fed formula six times a day. Guacara is in the biggest pool. Unfortunately, he was so badly injured after being hit by a boat, he will never swim well enough to be returned to the ocean. But he is happily spending his retirement playing on his float. And in the middle pool are two juvenile manatees that Tony is preparing to return to the wild. Both are getting used to wearing tail collars so they can be satellite tracked after their release. In this tank, we have Juiza and Aramana. They were brought in as calves. Aramana, the male, was orphaned by its mother in the town of Dorado four and a half years ago. Juiza got separated from his mother because of uh, high tide and, and bad weather, and the mom couldn't find it anymore. So we brought her. She is only two and a half years old, and she uh, has outgrown the older male. Our last release was six years ago, and what's special about this release is this will be our first time releasing a pair together. They have been in the pool bonding for the past six months in the hope that they would stay together. If they did, it would be a beautiful story.